Let's do one with a map. These are fun. What's the least number of colors needed to color this map? Adjacent states should be different colors. Otherwise, they'd run together, and you'd be like New Hampshire, Vermont. They're all one state because they're all one color. So we're not going to color Canada. We're not going to color um, the states that are down here, like you know Maryland and, and the other ones that border Pennsylvania. We're not going to color the ocean. Okay, we're just dealing with these states, which are listed. We'll be coloring Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. So New England plus a few more. And... Um, we are going to just go ahead and make a little chart out of this. Uh, let me rephrase that, vertex edge graph out of this. So um, let's start using some postal codes. I hope you remember them. I hope I remember them. <laughs> let's go for the obvious first. I think I know what New York is. Uh, Pennsylvania is PA. New Jersey. I'm putting them in roughly the right spot. Uh, Connecticut is CT. Rhode Island is RI. Massachusetts is MA. Vermont is VT, New Hampshire is NH, and Maine is me. All right, do we have them all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we do. Let's connect the ones that share a border. We're going to connect the ones that share a border, and when we do, we have to be very careful. So I'm just going to go one state at a time. Pennsylvania borders New Jersey and New York. New York borders Pennsylvania and New Jersey and Connecticut and Massachusetts, and Vermont. All right, Ooh, getting tricky. New Jersey borders just New York and Pennsylvania, not Connecticut. In case you care, this little part right here, that is Long Island, that is technically part of New York. So let's not get too caught up in that little guy right there. That's where New York City is. So um, Connecticut borders Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and New York. Rhode Island is Massachusetts and Connecticut. Massachusetts, it's a big one. Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And Vermont, New Hampshire, obviously, are side by side. Maine borders New Hampshire. I'm double checking to make sure everything is right. And it is, yay. All right, let's list them in no particular order. So three things, we're gonna have our state, we're gonna have our degree, and we're gonna have our color. Let's go. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Okay, this is one of those where there's more than one possible correct answer. I don't know why I never extend these things all the way over, and it's driving you nuts. There we go. All right. The degree of Maine is one. The degree of New Hampshire is three. The degree of Vermont is three. Massachusetts, it's five. Rhode Island, two. Connecticut, three. New York, five. Pennsylvania, two. New Jersey, two. If we put all the states in there, we'd have other degrees for the ones down here that border others, but we're not. Okay. Let's begin the process. Let's start with the highest one. The highest one is Massachusetts and New York. Oh my goodness, so which one do you pick? I don't care, pick whichever one you want. Start wherever you want, which one have you been to? Maybe you've been to both. Maybe you wanna go in alphabetical order. There is no wrong way to start this as long as you start with the five. So I'm gonna just pick one. I've never been to Massachusetts. Actually, I may have. We may have ridden through Massachusetts when I went to Maine when I was two, which means I don't remember it. So anyway, let's go to Massachusetts. I'm going to call that one number one. When I call it number one, I'm going to put, well, number one. I'm not going to color these. <laughs> color number one. All right, so I am going to decide who can be the same color as Massachusetts. Well, that means Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire. Cannot. Otherwise, if I color Massachusetts red, then if I color any of these states red, they're all going to run together and we're going to think it's one big state and somebody that's bad at geography is going to get confused. But I can choose some states that are not adjacent to Massachusetts. They don't share a border with Massachusetts. And we can color them the same color, color number one, which will be red, I guess. So Massachusetts can be the same color as oh, Maine. Oh, there we go. Maine is not connected. So we're going to say that Maine is also color number one. And we're also going to say that um, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Now, not both. 
You can't color Pennsylvania and New Jersey the same color. You pick one. Which one? I don't care. More than one possible correct answer here. Which means you, I might end up with three colors. I might end up with four. And different people that do it correctly might have three colors, four colors. More than four on a map is, well, technically not possible. You could if you're not being the most efficient, but it is possible. Totally. A total aside here. It has been mathematically proven that you can color any map with four colors or less. So, totally doable. So, we have already labeled Pennsylvania, Maine, and Massachusetts as color number one. We're going to go to the next highest degree, which actually we haven't dealt with the other five. So, let's deal with the other five. And when I do, I'll call it number two. I'll put it in green. Number two is New York. And when I take care of the biggies first, that really, that really helps me be more efficient. So New York is color number two. So Vermont, Connecticut, and New Jersey can't be the same color, right? And obviously these are already colored with color number one. So we can pick some of the others. Like, okay, Rhode Island is good. New Hampshire is good. Rhode Island and New Hampshire don't share a border, so they're both good. They can both be color number two. There we go. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's go to the next highest one, which is three. And Vermont, Connecticut, which one? Actually, it doesn't matter because you can color them both the same color. And even if you couldn't, you just pick one. So Vermont is number three. Connecticut's number three. Vermont is number three. Connecticut's number three. Color number three, not to be confused with its degree. New Jersey can also be the same color because they don't share a border. All right, let's show that we actually have done this and done it correctly. Let's actually color. I'm going to make this really quick because watching me color on a video is not the most exciting thing. Here's Massachusetts. It's red. Here's Maine. It's red. <laughs> you see my fantastic coloring skills. Here's Pennsylvania. It's red. All right, New York is green. Now, as I'm talking about states being red or green or blue, it is not a commentary on politics, nor is it a commentary on their environmental friendliness. These colors are arbitrary. I'm not making a statement. Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey. Ooh, we did it right. Yeah. So, no two states that share a border are the same color. Mission accomplished. So, let's make sure we answer it. Which states should be the same color? Um, that we already kind of answered that when we did it over here, so I'm not going to write the actual answer. And why does the least number of colors needed to color this map? And I will write that down. I need at most three colors. Done.